So you picked your class, hold on to your ass, it's gonna get crass cause race is part of the role you can play. Some sentient clay, a he she or they, a beast who gets real snarly, a regular dude named Charlie. If homebrew is free, a big talking tree, welcome to a crap guy to D&D. Ara Kakra, big fucking bird, you got some wings so you can fly, and if non-weapon melees prefer, they get sharp talents to bit scratch a guy. Or maybe you're more of an Asimar, still avian, if you lower the bar, angelic people with radiant energy, or darkness if you flap your wings edgily. Bugbears aren't actually bears at all, more like beastly orcs and just as tall, but oddly sneaky and your arms are long, so you're really freaking good at playing basketball. But if going full beast is a little too far, you could always do half and decide to be a centaur, charging the enemy so they can readily get steadily back up while you stomping them deadly. For sneaky bunch, changeling's cool, you make a Guys get a worthless tool, you can change your face to whatever race, there's nearly no limit who you can fool. Dragonborn, no not the Skyrim kind, are likely the kid of a bard that'll find dragons really hot, so now you shoot acid. Or whatever other color your parents preferred acid. The typical dwarf with a beautiful beard, you work with your hands and are physically sturdy. You seem informed about rocks, which is weird, try not to obsess or the sesh will get wordy. Elves are papa's pricks, a dozen flavors to match and mix, they live a long time, don't sleep instead trance, and are hard to be charmed, so bards keep it in your pants. Pick a fear bulk, a chill ass cow, most of which have a druidic vow, and don't ask how, but they can turn invisible, which is a big concern. Janassi, elemental genie bastards, one of four elements that they have mastered in some way, lets them do cool shit like water bend or have a fire breathing armpit. Githyanki and Githzerai, elves that look like they wanna die, all they're about is how they clash. Been around 40 years and their lore still trash. Short stack, 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 Gnome, stack, happy stack. short folk who are smart and wise and cunning and know how to crack. crack, crack in the good crack, camouflage, crack. be it sneaking or magic or cool roguish montage. Whack, whack, whack is the goblin, whack. small size hits hard on your noggin. Their nimbleness makes it hard to keep pace, they'll hide and bide quick slide and hit your face. Muscles are in, though I have bias, so the hottest IMO is Goliath. They're eight feet tall, have steel for their balls, and can shrug off damage like one man riots. Half elves, the mutts and mules of D&D. Extra points to spend on two abilities and skills out the ass. It's the best of both races, and backstories usually come from stupid places. Half orc, like I said, muscles are in. You're a ruthless brute who fights to win. Your crits get crits, and you can terrify. And if you feel like it, you can say no when you die. If your luck is nasty, the halfling's good. You re-roll ones and win like you should, and you're hard to scare, so go party with a dragon, and you can slip through if it's angry off the flag. And humans get a little bit of everything. Thing. They lack gimmicks or special flair or any zing and are all around average. You know how it is and the perfect pick if you're boring. Races, all the races. Races, all the races. There's plenty to choose from, too many. So come witness the list of this guy to all of the races. Hobgoblin. They trust in a code, be it god or communism or giant toad, they're a prideful chode, so whenever you fail, the more watch or retry means you go beast mode. If you're an edgy avian, kenku sneaky, agile and crafty and can easily lie, they can mimic voices to be a bit cheeky, too bad they get bullied because they can't fly. The kobold is a mischievous one, they hate bright light and there's often more than one, they can trick dumb fools and steal their jewels, but ganging up together can be pretty fun. Guess it's scaly hours, cause lizard folk have sticks up their ass and can't take a joke, they can bite and craft and stay a while underwater and have hard ass scales to block cannon fodder. Loxodon are straight up elephants, they're large large size and thick high and make them dense. Got trunks to smell and are wise and mostly merry, but piss one off and you'll see they're damn scary. Wanna breathe underwater? Lokatha is a fish, a straight up fish, literally just a fish. Your armor starts high and get tons of resistance. Stay dry and you die, you're still just a fish. Big beastly bull is a minotaur. Got horns to charge if you run pretty far, make them shit their pants while you're at it. Being big and scary is a habit. Speaking of orcs, superstitious and strong, but also often wrong with a minus two to int. That's okay, so to say you're aggressive and massive. Got angry parents means they're rarely passive. Cat girls rejoice, tabaxi is here. Obsessed with stuff and quite the sightseer. Fast like a cat. Get claws and climb far. Tons of coats like leopard, tiger, and jaguar. Tieflings a demon with a lot of looks. They're horny and hot and often a provoker in the lore anyway. A lot of hate. It's normal, I guess, when you're a panty soaker. If you want to be a big reptilian who's strong and hardy, then Tortle has a shell that's AC's a million. So have fun being a hermit immortal. Triton is just an aquatic elf who evolved itself in the continental shelf. And you're basically Aquaman. Fish can understand you. No, they won't do your laundry just because you demand to. The Verdon, like a goblin, but pretentious. Mind powers that make mystics contentious. Bunch of passive shit. What is this? Peace hour? Come back and talk to me when you learn real power. You want to pure blood like humans, but snaky. Never make a date with one, I hear they're flaky. Manipulate a bunch with magic resistance. Don't take their oral offer, no matter the persistence. Fair human mix is the Kalishtar. Got a lot of mind shit that's really bizarre, like telepathy. Dream protectively, like angels if they couldn't be effectively. The shifters, like a half lycanthrope with four different types with exclusive features. You can't transform, at least not fully, so you often look more like a freakish creature. Simic hybrids are a random fusion of aquatic things, like a squid or a crab. Gain bonuses, depending which one, so have some big pincers for new ways to stab. Warforge, robots, forge for war, don't 
have to eat or sleep or breathe, and what's more is you're tanky as well, being hard to steal. The only downside is you'll never truly feel. Vidalkin tells us nobody's perfect, look like Navi people without the long neck, they get lots of bonuses, the smart's not shocking, good luck ever getting one to stop talking. And that's the lot, and always remember class race importance is pretty seldom. Use whatever you fancy, make a chubby fighter dancing, now you know how to pick your race. You're welcome. Races. Guide to all of the 